okay so see this question which is greater in size okay which is greater in size so I'm just going to explain the first part okay I'm starting with the first part it's pretty simple pretty conceptual okay so look at this and uh, which one is greater in size whether it is an atom or a cation okay so mm, just I'm giving you one uh, take take any atom okay suppose I'm taking just X okay and X has what the symbol is what 15 it means what it has 15 protons and 15 electrons okay so mm, first I'm writing the electronic configuration so it is what 2 it is what 2 then what 8 and then it is what 5 2 8 and 5 okay so that means what inside nucleus you have what 15 proton okay inside nucleus may have some neutrons are also there we're not talking about that okay so this is what uh, Mm, this is electron in first shell how many electrons two electrons in second shell how many electrons eight and in third shell how many electrons five all right five and you can see here you have 15 proton 15 proton and plus 15 electron 15 proton that means what how many positive charge total positive charge 15 and how many 15 electrons because each proton contains what one positive charge plus one and each electron is what minus one so this is what plus 15 and 15 minus 15 so it will be what is zero plus 15 and minus 15 so it will be what zero so that's why there is no charge here you can see here it is what no charge that means zero charge is there and we see that atom is what electrically neutral all right now so that means you can see here that these 15 protons are holding what 2 8 and 5 that means total 15 electrons so the so this these 15 protons these 15 protons are holding what 15 electrons now just see this particular suppose x loses one electron so x if x lose one electron if x what x lose one electron so what will happen this will contain what one positive charge plus what electron okay so what will be the configuration of this x plus because it uh, now uh, it has lost one electron so the configuration will be what two eight and what four two eight and what four okay so this is what your uh, electronic configuration of this x plus okay you can see here the number of protons are still same that is what 15 protons but the number of electrons is now it is what 14 electrons and that's why there is a positive charge here you can see here plus 15 minus 14 equals to what plus 1 okay so when you will see this this particular x plus this particular x plus you will see that inside nucleus you have what 15 proton in first shell you have what two electrons in second shell you have what eight electrons and now in third shell how many electrons four electrons so now 15 protons uh, these 15 protons are what handling what how many electrons 14 electrons so because now now this 15 protons are holding this 14 electrons so, so the hold will be what more is stronger and because of that this will come more a little nearer towards what nucleus and so the, the size will be what size will be what decrease so of course the size of the size of cation will be a little lesser than the size of the atom okay because in this case the hold on electrons are what the hold on electrons are what more okay so this is your first question okay now let's come to the second part again same logic again same logic okay so just take again x suppose x is what 15 so here it is what 15 protons and 15 electrons and and suppose if a, it x uh, gain one electron so x when it will gain one electron so there is what x minus so it is what 15 proton and 16 electron okay so in this case the hold of 15 proton is there on 15 electron and in this case the hold of 15 proton is there on 16 electron so in which case the hold is more stronger of course in this case okay and if the hold is more stronger okay the size will be what a little lesser so you can see that the size of x minus is greater than what the size of x okay so you you can generalize this concept also okay if you have suppose x okay if you have suppose x minus if you have suppose x plus okay so in all the cases you have 15 protons uh, if suppose x 15 is there okay so in all the case if you have f 15 protons okay but number of electrons in this case is what 14 electron in this case what 15 electron in this case is what 16 electron if you suppose x minus 2 
so again 15 proton but how many electrons 17 electron if it is x plus 2 so it is what 15 proton but how many electrons 13 electron so as the number of protons are fixed and the number of electrons are you know increasing when you are moving from left to right the hold will be what the hold will be what weaker and if the hold is weaker the atom and uh, the size of respective anion or cation will what according to it will if it is anion it will what increase so when you are moving from left to right the size will what increase okay so because the hold is what here 15 proton is holding what 17 electrons so hold is a little less here and here it is what 15 proton again is what holding 13 electrons so here the hold is what more stronger so the size will what a little lesser so size will what from left to right it will what size will what increase okay so, so you can generalize this concept also and now you can pretty uh, simple it is the third part is pretty simple okay what is that fe plus 2 or fe plus 3 okay tell me what pretty simple fe plus 2 or fe plus 3 so the size of fe plus 2 will be what again greater what you have to do simple just see fe has what 26 proton and fe plus 2 so it is at 24 electron all right as it was 26 proton and how many electrons 23 electrons so the hold is more here so the size will be what lesser here so fe plus 2 has what more ionic size than fe plus 3 so i think hope you understand this concept